You can use the Modify Search button over here to the right and put a date in this calendar when you want to start your three-week search from. Oh, okay. So if you're looking yeah. to book into April, you can just come here and go into April, put in a date, hit search. It'll give you three weeks from this date. Very good. Okay, and then you just choose the one you want. You'll see the port of load and port of discharge, the sale and arrival date, cut off at the port, voyage number, vessel name, the service it's sailing on, and the transit time. Gotcha. But you can only choose a, you, one at a time, correct? Correct. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to click choose. And it's port to port. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to do anything else. You, you guys don't do ramp or we, we will, door, we, right? We might start doing ramp uh, as we get into April. Okay. If you're doing ramp, when you're choosing your voyage, be sure you allow depending on where it's coming from, enough time to get from that ramp location to this terminal by this cutoff date. So if it's coming from Chicago, allow seven to 10 days. Houston, about the same. Understood. Denver, maybe four to five days. You know, just to make sure that it's gonna get there in time. Okay. We would choose ramp and then enter where it's coming in from. So if we were going to yes. Chicago, we would just type Chicago and make sure we choose Illinois. You see all these other yeah. Chicago's in here. We want to make sure we're getting the right one. Okay. And that'll add the ramp to it. Understood. Okay. You don't have to enter haulage details unless we're doing the door move. Okay. Okay. The cargo ready from also is related to the door. Understood. Okay, so I'm going to go back to port here mm -hmm. and click next. Shipment parties. Because I have multiple accounts linked here to the login that we're using, we can choose which one we are today. Are we booking this as Ekman or are we booking this as KC or yeah, yeah, who yeah. are we booking this as? Uh, Ekman's fine. You, you determine that. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah okay. that's fine. Now we need to know who the shipper will be on this booking. Okay. So you have your options here to choose. You've got um, Ekman and Brick, but I don't think it's... No, we, we probably should clean that up yeah, from our side. Cool. Yeah, we should probably clean that up from our side because some of them are our old addresses that we don't even, you know, we're all, our office is a wall now. Right. Well, and yeah. that's what comes in when I click that. Yeah. It comes in as wall. Okay. So when you're requesting a booking, the only thing we require is a shipper. So if you just go to the shipper, you can choose which one you are. If mm -hmm. you don't see your name in the list, yeah. you can click on this search by country or favorite. Okay. And you have a list of parties that you've used in the past, and you can expand that up to 30 lines. So you see a bunch of them in there. You can also type in the name to help filter down the sort. Yep. Okay. But we have a shipper, so that's all we need. We're just going to click next. We have fields for reference numbers too. Do you use reference numbers? Uh, we will not document. Numbers. Yeah, documentation will. Okay. Okay. So for your purpose, no. So all you do is add the shipper and hit next. Perfect. And I'm going to try updating this template and see if it'll hold that okay. shipper on it. Okay. Commodity. So because I reused the booking, yeah. I. Put the um, it, it brought over the commodity that's been used in the past. I'm sorry, there's a lot of commotion going on. No, that's TV. okay. That's fine. That's <laughs> like fine. Really distracting. No. <laughs> um, so, so the commodity pulled in from the previous. You yes. can change it if you want. Yes. You just need to know what the HS code is. That's fine because it's always 4707 for us. That's what I thought. Yeah. Um, number of containers. Okay. You can book up to 999 containers on a booking. Okay. The website will allow you to. Okay. Um, the previous booking had 10 high cubes, so I left it at that. That's fine. You can change it if you want. Mm -hmm. The weight, when you're entering the gross weight, you want to enter the sum of all 10 containers based on the average per container. Ah, so that's okay. See the 19, the 190. Yeah, and it, you can change okay. the, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Do you want it left at kilos or do you need no, pounds? No, ton, tons is better. Tons is better. Pounds? 
Is that the correct um, amount for pounds? No, we do uh, usually 47,000. Yeah, well, times per, 10? Yeah, times 10, yeah. Okay, I, I got you. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to click next. Okay. Payment. Prepaid or collect. Gotcha. If it's prepaid, it's going to default to Virginia Beach. That's where our freight cashier is yes. located. Yes, yes. Freight payer, it defaults to you because you're the only party that we put on the payment party. Correct, correct. Um, cargo value serenity, mm -hmm. check with Jessica on that if it applies to you and you want to use this or no. apply this to your cargo. I see that, yeah. Um, I don't know if it's available on waste. I doubt it. <laughs> I don't think it is. Yeah. Um, booking comments, any additional notes you need them to know before you, pro you submit the booking request, that's what this box is for. So if you were given specific instructions from Jessica, you can put that instruction in there. If that's she good, says, that's you know, good. I've already pre-approved for this voyage. You could put per Jessica Isom, this has been pre-approved or whatever, and they'll go to Jessica and verify it before they place it on hold for trade approval. That's really good, that's a big help. Yeah, and this box is unlimited space, so you can type as much as you want in there. Okay. okay. And then we're gonna click next, and we're in recap and submit. Perfect. Preview what you're submitting before you submit it. Mm -hmm. You can submit multiple identical bookings. So earlier you asked if you could only do one at a time. Well, you can do one per voyage, Yeah. but you can do up to 20 on that same voyage. That's a so big, if you needed, yeah. If you needed three bookings with 10 containers each all on the same ship, you could put a, a three in this box and you'll get your three booking requests in one. That's a big help. Yes. And you can do up to 20. Okay. I'm going to update your template that I created for you. Yes. Um, because I changed it to pounds. So in this box, you can either create a new template, just give it a new name, it won't affect the existing template. Yes. Or you can override the changes, which means any changes I made on this will be updated when I hit save draft. Understood. Or when you submit it. Okay, so I'm okay. gonna update your template. After you hit the submit button, yeah. your booking number is gonna show up here. If you did three, you'll see all three of the booking numbers. Okay. Okay. So you get your, month, your booking number immediately, and then within an hour, you should hear a response from bookings, whether it's a booking confirmation or they've gone to trade for approval. Understood. But they will let you know something within that hour. Okay. Now, coming the end of the month, we have a new um, quick book process that's coming. Okay where all of these steps we just walked through are not going to be as cumbersome. It's just going to be all on one page, and you'll see basically um, you tell us where you're loading, where you're discharging, what your contract number is, how many containers you want, the commodity. Everything's going to be on one little screen, and you'll just click submit, and you'll be done. Understood. So as quick as, as, quick as this was using this template, it's gonna be probably 10 times faster at the end of the month. That's great. That's really good. So far, it's very easy to follow, very easy. Yeah, so we, we try to make it as user-friendly as possible. We take our customer suggestions and we try to implement them in a way that, you know, meets everybody's needs. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we're in the same industry across the world. Everybody's looking for the same kind of information. So they try to put it all together and they um, really put it through the ringer to make sure customers are satisfied with it before we publish it out there. And, you know, this long way of making the booking was good at the beginning, but then yeah. customers are getting like, you know, we need something a little bit Fast. less steps. So that QuickBook is coming out at the end of the the okay. month, so um, hopefully you'll like that as much. Yeah. So where I'm at here in this section, yeah. I went, I clicked on consult bookings, which brought me over to this, but you can also access it from the transport management and my shipment dashboard. 
Okay. And that's to see what's what's going on with the bookings, right? Exactly. This gives you an overview of all of your shipments, regardless import, export, who requested it, as long as you're a direct party on the booking, you see it. Okay. So this booking is the one that I, let me see, it was this one, that I reused mm -hmm. to create the one that we used the template for. Understood. So if I click on that line, you'll see the booking confirmation is here. You've got the PDF over to the right. You can click on it. It opens for you. You okay. also have a tab here for containers. So you can see how many containers were there. If they've already been pulled in yes. and linked to the booking, you'll see all of your container numbers and what the last move was. Okay. So if it's loaded on board, you'll see loaded on board. If it's discharged, it'll say discharged. This little animated picture to the left will also tell you what's going on with that vessel okay. for your booking. So your booking is still before sailing, and this is what the anticipated sale date is. Okay. Okay. Very good. And we, we also have some dots over here to the right. Mm -hmm. When you click on it, it opens a menu for some to-do items. Oh, okay. So it's telling you you can go right here to submit the SI, submit VGM. If you have a, a document you need to upload to bookings or the document team, you can do that here. This is that reused booking that I told you about. Yeah, which is great. That's what I use. I like, yeah. If you want to... Mm -hmm. If you want to modify your booking, you click on this button. It takes you right back into those same steps we just walked through. Okay. If for some reason you need to cancel a booking, you can request that cancellation online also. Okay. And then more shipment details will bring you to more information on your booking. Oh, why are we getting this? Oh, my goodness. That's not a happy not face. It worked. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Let me try. Let me look at that booking real quick. This one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let me. I want to look at that in my system and find out why we got that error yeah. message because we should not have. Mm. Oh, there okay. we go. I don't know why it happened. No, that's fine. Must have just been a little glitch. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. Me there. I thought the website was <laughs> going down. <laughs> Great timing. Right. Yep. Um, it's always my fear what I'm doing walkthroughs. <laughs> I know. No, I wouldn't worry about it. Believe me. So I see that this is the additional information. Okay. Yeah. So you've got your booking number here. If you want to mark it as a favorite, I'll explain what that is later too, or how it impacts things. You okay. just click on the star and it's now marked as a favorite. So if you have a really hot shipment that you want to follow closely, if you mark it as a favorite, I'll show you in notifications how you can keep up on it. Okay. Documents available. It, it, if you have booking requested, your booking confirmation, your SI re submitted, um, any documents that are available like drafts, waybills, copy bills, originals, um, any document related to your booking, it will highlight here how many are available. Okay. And when we click on it, it brings us to the document dashboard filter to that booking. Okay, so that PDF file to the right is actually a copy of the booking confirmation? Yes. Oh, fantastic. The exact same thing you get in email. Oh, that's great. Very good. Okay. And then I'm going to click on the shipment reference number, which will bring me back to where we were. Mm -hmm. If you... If you want to track where the vessel is, you can click on the voyage number. It will tell you all the sale dates and arrival dates, the ports that that vessel is going to. Oh, okay, very good. So you can keep track on the vessel too, along with the terminals that it's going to, the cutoff for each terminal. Okay. And I'm going to go back. <clears throat> These tabs that we see here in the middle, yeah. each tab gives you different information on your shipment. So the general tab just tells us when it was booked. If the bill's been released yet, it'll tell us when the bill was issued. Um, transport management will give you your vessel and terminal details. Mm -hmm. So you'll see what ship it's on, when it's due to sail, when it's due to arrive, what ports it's coming into. Okay. Where to pick up your empty container. If you have rail billing or equipment issues, phone numbers to call. Okay. Where to return the full container. That's going to be information. Cargo details will tell you what's in the box. So once the SI is produced, 
you'll see all your container numbers, seal numbers, piece counts, weights, the description, everything that's going on inside the box. Okay. Parties, the shipper, forwarder, contact need notify who's listed as a direct party on the booking. Okay. NVOCC, if you ship with house bills, they would populate here. Mm -hmm. U.S. import, cargo obviously coming into the United States. Yep. You'll see customs and release status here. And then the container tracking, once you have containers linked, you'll see that same tracking here that we saw on that first screen. Yeah. How, um, how live is that tracking, do you know? Is it 24 hours mm -hmm. behind? Oh, really? Nope, it's, as soon as an event happens, it updates on the web. Okay, good. Now, yeah. now it's based on what our database has. So when you're calling customer service and they're looking in their system because they can't see what you see on the web, Yeah. whatever their system shows will update here on the website. Understood. So it's an instant. Um, if, it, if the container tracking moves are not updated in their system, they're not going to update on the web. Okay. But that only happens in like 0.1% of yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. I'm not too worried about that. In a very rare very rare. You also have the reuse booking button here. Okay. You've got actions here that can show you some different items that you can do as well. Contact customer support go to our shared service center in India. Okay. But it is a 24 hour um, customer support option. That's good. The need help. Need help over here to the right. You can type in um, Let's say request booking. It'll take you right through how to request uh, okay. the booking step okay. by step, telling you to click here and then click here. That's, that's really cool. Uh, really cool. So, yeah, it basically will take you through every single step. This is, one, this is one of the better websites I've seen. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, it really is. This is, uh, this is it's pretty, it's not only that it's, it seems pretty easy, but it's a lot of info quickly. Yes, it is. And not everybody, is. not everybody has that. Trust me. <laughs> not oh, not no, every carrier. <laughs> yeah, not even close. I want to show you something else in the shipment dashboard. Okay. So let's say you're in here and you're navigating and you're looking at this one and everything is you're done with this one, but you have another one that you want to look at, but you don't want to have to keep going back to the shipment yeah. dashboard. Yeah. You you can come up here in your browser. Okay. Replace that booking number with your next booking number. Oh, okay. And hit enter, and it'll refresh the page with oh. your new information. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Anything to save clicks. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, VGM, do you guys upload your own VGM, or do you the, the, the terminals? Do no, it? there'll be somebody here that that should be doing it, our traffic group. If not, it's through the terminal. But it's not us, you know, on this call right now, but it's good to know anyway. Yeah, right here. Yep, I it see. It looks like it's a mix. It looks like it's a mix. So yeah. There, there is a way that you can do it online too. Um, if you come into the VGM dashboard, of course the container has to be linked before we can do it. Correct. But, um, I mean, you can add the container if you know what it is, but you have to know what the container is. Okay. But I'm just going to put check marks in, in these two. And then I'm going to go up here and click Actions and choose Declare VGM Form Mode. Okay. 